MTG and me, this is Charles, and we're going to take a look at the Dominaria Booster Battle Pack. Uh, so let's tear this one down and see what's in the intro decks and what we pull out of the booster packs. All right, let's go. So we, the format's similar or continues to be roughly the same. It gives kind of a brief overview. Unwrap the decks, look at the decks to decide which one you're going to play. Then everyone opens a booster pack and adds five cards to their deck. So it looks like they're still using the 2017 welcome decks rather than uh, any sort of new construction for Dominaria. Let's take a quick look at these. This is the white one. I imagine the content of these is going to change with the introduction of the uh, 2019 core set. So the rare is Victory's Herald. Then we get a copy of Stormfront Pegasus from the Welcome deck. These look like they're already basically shuffled. Oh, a Graceful Cat. There's a Divine Verdict from the Magic 17. Sarah Angel. Another graceful cat. So standing troops and a glory seeker. Another standing troops, another glory seeker. If you look down in the corner, these things are numbered like of a subset of 30 cards. All right, let's take a look at the Shivan Dragon. So of course, let's start with the Shivan Dragon. And we got a Falcon Wrath Reaver from the 17 set. A Thundering Giant. Fred jumping on the table. Get out of here. Always wants to be on camera. Another Reaver, so two copies of that. Oh, Flame Slash, or Flame Lash. This is from the Kaladesh Chandra deck. So in the case of Red, there's only four cards. No uncommons, that's interesting. So then you would take these and you would each open a booster and see what you could line up in them. So let's sort of do it. Been doing these the last couple times we opened these. This will be for the Victory's Herald. Call of Cavalry, also good. Sparring Construct could be playable in there. And our, for our uncommons, we got a Goblin War Chief. Copy of Settle the Score. And then a rare, which would have been good in the other deck, Siege Gang Commander. Uh, nice, we got a Foil Memorial to Unity. And then Tetsugo Umizawa, Fugitive. So really only like three cards that Oh, I guess technically you can play a Power Stone Shard. Four cards that would fit in there. All right, let's see what we got for the red deck. We start with a Fire Elemental. That's definitely playable in the deck. We could play the Guardians of Koilos and the Keldon Raider. Oh, Skizik. That'd be a very good addition. Uh, first uncommon or second uncommon is Diligent Excavator. And then we have a rare artifact, Black Bay Reforged. I don't think there's any legendaries in there, but... It's pretty powerful. And we got another foil, Vidalian Arcanist. And then our legendary's Wrath, Capuchin Mage. Uh, so yeah, that's the Dominaria Booster Battle Pack. It gives you an idea of what's in there and the kind of the format they're looking to have players get introduced to. I don't know what else there is to say, except thanks for watching.